everyone good evening today we are with a new presentation that is civic that is chapter 2 in your textbooks our society okay first i am going to talk about introduction of this lesson seven is the smallest unit in a society and its society is created on the basis of a family a nuclear family consists of mother father and children while an extended family consists of other relatives in addition to them if man spend lonely associated life a society would of this nature would never have emerged the present society had been subjected to change when comparing with the past what is present the, the society has reached a technological age pass in the agricultural and industrial age when looking at the age that man passed the human society had been in a simple way and become complex the family which had been the smallest unit in the societies of these ages eras had changed parallel to that it is clear that the changes in family units by age era had also changed the entire society in relation to it from this picture you can see women harvesting paddy okay how do we build interrelationships in society in a society there are various objectives between persons families and within the society relationships are built in society based on fulfilling those objectives the relationship built between person to person family family to family and family to various institutions in society is called interrelationship Okay, what are the reasons that cause building of the interrelationship? There are economic requirements, educational requirements, political requirements, cultural requirements, relaxation and enjoyment. These are the some of the reason that cause building of the interrelationships. What are the interrelationships that exist in society? Let's see what are they. They are between parents and children, between teachers and students, between. sorry between family members between neighbors between institutions societies companies organizations and religious institutions from this picture you can see star and relationships that exist in society between parents and children okay family is family is the main source which produces the people needed for the existence of the society the modern civilized society has identified a machinations for the upbringing of children after a legal marriage there there the parents maintain relationships with their children by fulfilling their obligations such as feeding safeguarding providing education helping to safely other needs protecting from diseases and 
settling them in marriage. It is the responsibility of children to be accountable of such parents and utilize all those privileges fully. Children are also supported to fulfill some duties towards their parents. Okay, next I'm going to talk about end relationships in the society. Uh, according to, accordingly, the end relationships in a human society can be indicated as like this picture. Okay, human society exists or becomes successful only if it is, has good end relationships. This end relationship should be there between mother and father, while the same kind of relationship should be maintained among children and relatives too. Whenever the relationship within a family is strong, the end of family relationships will also be strengthened. Thus, when a strong relationship is built among the families, the whole society becomes interconnected with strong bonds. Okay, next I'm going to talk about end relationship between teachers and students. Teachers are the second parents of children in school. Teachers guide the children by improving their skills and abilities with the discipline. They build a balanced personality in children by providing a proper education. Teachers write and draw and good qualities that children's responsibility is to get a good education by respecting the teacher. Maintain a good relationship between teachers and students helps to produce good citizens to the society. Okay, next I'm going to talk about a relationship between neighbors. The closest persons that we have in the relationship in the society are neighbors. Normal human qualities such as being peaceful, brotherhood, cooperation and helping others and sharing should be maintained freely human ties through this. So, we can ensure a society with coexistence irrespective of race, caste and religion. When the relationships between neighbors become weak, the society becomes restless and chaotic. Okay. Explain the interrelationship between various organizations in the society. So, the government institutions, religious institutions, private institutions, voluntary organizations and other institutions that exist in a society have been established to ensure the well-being of people. The activities of those institutions can be actively come out to building really human peace with these institutions. Okay, what are the organizations in society? Okay, let's see what are they. They are religious organizations, sports clubs, village development societies, funeral societies, youth club, women clubs, from this picture, you can see some sports club and religious organizations. 
Okay. What are the services provided by religious organizations in the society? Okay. They are teaching religion, contributing to spiritual development, internalizing morals, religious observations, creating disciplined society. These are the sum of them. Okay. What are the services provided by the village development society in your village? They are assisting in providing common amenities, providing cooperation amenities, providing leadership to the village, assisting in the security of the village, cooperating with the people at the sum of them. Okay, next I'm going to talk about water services provided by a sports club. They are improving sports, providing training for the leadership, teaching to act cooperatively, contributing to develop organizing ability. These are the sum of them. Okay, next I'm going to talk about what are the benefits of maintaining interrelationships in the society. There are peace among, getting the support of the others in activities, less money, peace and friendship being common to all and in enjoyment between the people who get together. Okay, next I'm going to talk about need data and information. Okay, sources that provide information about certain subject area is known as data. A defined idea can be accurately stated by data. What is use of data and information? We have different situations in daily life. Data and information are important in such situations. All functions can be performed efficiently. What are the essential information we obtain in our day-to-day -day life? They are with the forecast, market prices, important and emergency phone numbers, advertisements, press feeds, government announcements. From this picture, you can see weather forecast and market prices. Okay, next I'm going to talk about what are the few instances in your life where you had to face different occasions and phenomena. The accidental disasters, facing examinations, failing examinations make them unrest, disputes with friends, selecting subjects, these are the sum of them. Okay, next I'm going to talk about what are the steps should you take to face the about challenges successfully. They are preparing for the examination again, developing other skills and potentials, following a professional course, obtaining course. These are the steps sh uh, we should take to face the about challenges successfully. Okay, what matters should you pay attention when facing challenges successful as creative person? 
they are in my future good? Am I satisfied with the current situations? Am I curious? Am I observational? Do I consider alternatives? Am I always keen? Do I think freely? Okay. Do you have any question regarding my presentation? I think you all can understand my lesson clearly. So guys, I'm going to wind up my presentation. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you. Let's meet another presentation.